to Rockwell, Texas Living, the web's biggest blog on the smallest county in Texas. Today we have a very special guest with us. I'm Richard Madison and my guest is Bethany Golden. She is the Main Street Manager for Rockwall, the downtown area, and we're going to talk with her a little bit about what's been happening since she came on board. So Bethany, let's start with you telling us a little bit about how long you've been here and how, how you got it started. Well, the Main Street program um, was adopted in Rockwall in 2009, so I've been here about two and a half years, and we've seen a lot of great momentum, a lot of change, um, a lot of really good things happen in Rockwall in a really, really short period of time. Good, good. So, what are the changes that you've seen since you got here? Well, we've seen a huge increase in foot traffic downtown. Um, generally speaking, a lot of our merchants had reported that uh, people would come by and they would come by specifically to see them, and now we have uh, destination traffic, so people Good. are coming and spending the day, and they're visiting the shops and eating in the restaurants and spending okay. money in Rockwall. Great, great. What else? Um, we've had a huge increase in events. We have something going on on the square, 26 weekends out of 52 a year. Wow, half the year. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're very, very busy. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. So, um, We've had lots of money reinvested in the district, um, about $670,000 in private reinvestment. That's We've great. awarded twelve thousand dollars in facade grants, and that kind of is the frontage of of those properties there. Most of them have been facelifts in the form of paint, awnings, lighting, uh, new signage. Right, and and you were talking earlier about the fact that there was possibly a a real um, facelift going possible in the downtown area in the future. Yes, there there is some discussion of a downtown improvements project and there'll be much more information coming out um, in August of Great. this year. Okay. So what's the excitement level then you think you feel in people here? I think people are really excited. I mean, just an increase. The number of people that are coming downtown, the number of people that are following us on Facebook. Um, we have 500 customers plus every Saturday for the farmer's market. Wow. So people people are showing up. Um, there's lines out the door of a lot of our restaurants downtown. Um, the increase in sales tax revenue in 2009-2010 was 24.9% in the downtown area compared to 67 in the rest of Rockwell as a whole. So we know we know that we're getting people in the door and we know they're spending money and local local dollars. So that's so. 6.7 as opposed to 24.9? Uh -huh, specifically in the downtown so area. So that's like four times more mm -hmm. revenue out of the downtown area than the rest of the county. Yeah, it's super exciting. And, and most of those businesses are locally owned, so the money stays here. Yeah. And you were mentioning about an, a, a restaurant that was the Old Timers, and now someone's taken it over, and that's a brand new restaurant down there. Right, right. Old Timers have been here for a long time, and um, Donna retired, and um, Ted Grieve, who owns Zanotto Restaurant, okay. um, opened the Fatted Calf. And so it's really nice because they offer breakfast. And so uh -huh. a lot of our people that come downtown on Saturday mornings for our events, it's really nice to be able to, to keep them downtown, to have coffee or breakfast or whatever. So. Right. And uh, we're uh, building a new courthouse here in the Rockwall area, and that's going to free you some space downtown? Yes. Um, there's a couple of properties that the county occupies now. Um, they'll stay in the courthouse. The commissioner's court will stay there. Okay. But there are a couple of properties um, in and around the downtown square um, that will be available for sale or for lease. Okay, I don't great. know all the details on it, but we'll know, we'll know fairly soon because they're making good progress with the courthouse. Great. And then uh, I know that you have a huge bank of volunteers. Yes. Okay, we tell do. us about that. We've logged, well, as I said, we had 26 events, and so obviously I'm not the only one there. There's no way I could pull that off. So um, we logged 1,200 volunteer hours in the last two and a half years, and so we're constantly looking for volunteers. Um, we have a downtown area resource network that is on our Main Street website, and it's a mechanism for um, the general public to go in and sign up, or if they're not real familiar with how to use the computer, they can call me and I can sign them up. And it doesn't necessarily commit a volunteer to a specific duty, but it would allow them to be in the network so they'll get our newsletters and our updates. And then when we do have events like the Farmer's Market, Rib Rub, um, we'll send them an email that says, hey, this is an opportunity to be involved. And then at that point, they can make a decision. If they want to, they can go in and sign up themselves without ever even calling me. Um, and they'll get an email reminder to let them know where to be and when. So it's, it's really a cool system, and we're just now kind of getting it rolling. So we hope that people will utilize it. Great. And like I said, if they're, not, if they're not comfortable using it, they can call me, and I'll, I'll get them signed up. Cool. So 
What else do viewers need to know about downtown Rockwell? They just need to come visit. It's okay. fun. It's it's a great place to be, and we're just constantly trying to improve the quality of life for people and keep them here in Rockwell. So there's lots of good things going at, on the downtown scene, the Main Street. It is a Main Street program, which is one of uh, over 100 or yes, so? Yes, yes. We're recognized by the state of Texas, and then we're also recognized nationally as a national Main Street city. Right, and you told me earlier that there are actually people from East Texas that are coming over to Rockwall rather than going to Dallas. Mm -hmm. They're coming here to be around and eat some food and uh, look at some restaurants. So it looks like it's uh, growing in its enthusiasm and excitement about that downtown area. And you're, right. you're a part of that. You're the kind of the point at the top of the spear. That's right. And uh, I know it's exciting for you to do that as the lead person in there. It is. It's very exciting, and it's, it's like I said, it's all the volunteers that help us, and it's really fun. Most of the people that help us out really enjoy it, and uh, once they kind of commit to us, they stay. They like it. They like doing things for downtown. It's the heart of the community. Super, and we're going to put uh, some website information for you uh, out there on the bottom below this uh, video. Uh, we thank you, Bethany, for coming in thank and you. sharing this update with us, and uh, we're learning a lot about Rockwall. We hope you're spending your dollars here, especially downtown. See you next time.